What's up everybody, this is Danny and the long-awaited Huawei P40 Pro Plus is now here in my hands and I know I know it's all about the monster camera system with this incredible camera array and the true optical 10x zoom and it will be my focus moving forward but I really wanted to try out this new Huawei 40 watt wireless charger so I ordered it from eBay. It came a little earlier than I thought so I wanted to see how this compares with the 30 watt wireless charging on the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G. Nothing else comes in the package, just the charger itself. It looks clean and minimal, a decent sized fan inside to dissipate the heat. And the one thing that I do like about this charger is that it looks like it has two main contact points. So you can charge at full speed in landscape, which is really great just in case you wanna charge while you are watching content. And these other chargers that I'm testing today cannot do that. So you have to stand it upright while charging. All of these phones were drained to zero, so I'm going to place them on their proprietary chargers to get that full speed. If you use other wireless chargers, you cannot get these type of speeds. Of course, my camera died at this moment, so I had to capture this on my phone. After 15 minutes, the P40 Pro Plus has 30%, which is really impressive. 20% on the OnePlus 8 Pro, which has been my speed leader in all my other tests, and the Xiaomi with 25%, which is really great. Okay, swap batteries on the camera and after 30 minutes, we have 51% on the Huawei, which is great. So that's nice top up speeds for wireless charging. The OnePlus 8 Pro only at 39%, which is weird because it's been faster in my previous videos, but these tests do fluctuate and not every charge is going to be the same. And on the Mi 10 Pro 5G, we have 42%, so very similar to the OnePlus. When it comes to temperature, all of these phones were pretty warm at this point, but the Huawei did seem a little bit hotter than the others, and I didn't have anything to measure this with, so next time I will definitely do this, but they're all warm to the touch. So 45 minutes into it, we have 75% on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, so it's staying steady. Maybe it will charge in one hour, which would be awesome. And we have 61% on the OnePlus 8 Pro, so it's catching up. And on the Mi 10 Pro, we have 60%, so neck to neck on the 30 watt side. So here we go, the one hour mark. Did the Huawei charge in one hour? Nope, it did not. It's really close though at 90%, still good. Then we have 82% on the OnePlus 8 Pro, so it's steadily catching up. And on the Xiaomi, we have 82% as well, so now they are neck to neck. 10 minutes later, 94% on the Huawei, so it's slowed down quite a bit. And on the OnePlus 8 Pro, it is at 93%. So here we go, it's a race to the finish. And on the Mi 10 Pro, we have 94%. So it has completely caught up to the Huawei, even with the bigger 4,500 milliamp hour battery. At one hour and 16 minutes, surprisingly, the Xiaomi is at 100% full charge. So that is impressive. So on this test, we will call that the winner and then we will put that down. Check the OnePlus and it is at 98%, and on the Huawei, it's at 97%. One hour and 21 minutes later, the OnePlus 8 Pro finishes charging, and at one hour and 28 minutes, the P40 Pro Plus finishes with this 4,200 milliamp hour battery, and it just didn't seem right that it would take this long, so what I did is I drained the battery overnight, and then I tried the test again in the morning, and here is the second run, after 15 minutes, we have 31%. 30 minutes later, we have 53%. 78% after 45 minutes, so it's very similar to the test yesterday. 93% after one hour, so this run is a little faster. Checking again at one hour and 11 minutes, we have 99%, so this is for sure faster than last night's run. And at one hour and 14 minutes, it charges to 100%. So like I said, it varies. This is 14 minutes faster than the first time. So I thought I would include this. Even though this is not wildly different from the 30 watt charging from the competitors or even their own 27 watt charger I tested with the P40 Pro, this is still one of the fastest wireless chargers out there right now. Let me know if you think the 40 watt wireless charger is worth it. There is a good chance that software will optimize wireless charging with updates so it can improve, but at this time it doesn't look like that extra 10 watts makes a huge difference. But regardless, wireless charging has progressed so much, and to put it all into perspective, these chargers are faster than the wire charging on the iPhone 11 Pro, so that is a win for wireless charging. I think we can clearly say that wireless charging is worth it in 2020. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.